How did you choose what to study at college and how has it remained relevant as you've gotten older? So I chose uh, to study uh, physics and art history. Um, and I got there in a pretty weird way because I started off, um, I started off studying, uh, I did one semester in, in CS, in computer science, and I just, I already knew how to program and it was a lot of math and it was just uh, like very theoretical programming and I was just not interested and disengaged. And then I said, okay, I'll switch to, I actually did a semester in chemistry. And I said, okay, this is also interesting, but then I saw that actually what's interesting for me is physics. And then I did a semester in physics and I said, this is great. I enjoy it. It's a little bit of like a manual for the universe. You suddenly understand how things work from very big things to very small things to just this thing moving on the table and the friction between the table and anything, whatever, and gravity. And I loved it. Um, but I needed something a little bit more for the soul. And as I saw the math getting more complex, I, I, I took art history uh, in addition, and that was great because suddenly I was in, in the university, I was going to these very, you know, technical, theoretical math and physics classes, but then going and studying about art and photography and music and architecture, and it was awesome. Um, looking at, back at it, then I think it's, it's all just tools for life. And I think that that's what most people should look at when they're going to college. If you are going to go to college, I, I believe a lot in just apprent apprenticeship, uh, you know, a little bit like we, like the, the path that I took, I mean, going, for instance, into the army, then having someone to learn from how to code or how to, you know, whatever we did there, just, but someone that works with you. So you don't need all of the theoretical, um, uh, knowledge, but someone will help you get into it. And I, I really believe in that, uh, just uh, learning on the, on the job. Um, and on the other hand, there's very few real uh, professions that you can come out of academia with. So, you know, if you want to be a medical doctor, probably you need to go there. Although, as well, by the way, they learn a lot of, a lot of theory and then they learn a lot on the job. Um, if you want to be an accountant or a lawyer, probably you need to go there because there's a lot of theoretical material that you should uh, uh, learn. But then there's so many things that just has, have nothing to do with sitting in class and, and studying. Um, so if you are going to go there, just make sure you go, you're going to study something that is very broad, very shallow, um, but is going to give you tools, thinking tools that you can apply later in life. From, so from, you know, just understanding uh, history or how things were made and, and why and, and um, being able to appreciate a work of art or, you know, physics and just even though I probably forget a lot of what I studied then just being able to look at things and understand better how, you know, what they're made out of and how exactly they function. I think that's, that's great. It's, it's just, it's really useful day-to-day tools um, and I wish that people would focus more about that I think that when they go to college they are so obsessed with what they're gonna do in life and we're so privileged uh, compared to our parents for instance that probably we're gonna every 10 years we're gonna change what we're doing like there's something about today's environment that just allows us to do that so don't focus on that just focus on what theoretical knowledge you can obtain now that will serve you through life and not necessarily um, through the next 10 years.